been looking like a potato and I just decided that today I will glow up. First, I'm gonna take off my glasses. I usually wear overnight hard contacts that fix my vision during the night so that I can take them off during the day and see 2020 vision. Recently, I've been kind of lazy. When I don't wear the contacts, I have to wear the glasses. My hair, it's so dry. I don't even know what to do with it, but I have this serum. This thing is so amazing. It's Fanola Nutri Care Restructuring Fluid Crystal Serum for my hair. It smells like oranges or citrusy fruits. I usually just pump two pumps on my hand, rub it around the ends of my hair because that's where it's most needed. But if you do want to put it on directly onto your hair, just make sure it's not have a slip down into your clothing because it will stain it. So yeah, I am just gonna put a little of that. Meanwhile, I'm gonna turn on my straightener because I can never do a look without straightener. I have been straightening my hair ever since the sixth grade, I wanna say. Six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12th grade. I straightened my hair every single day. I guess it's kind of like a boost of confidence. I have already put on toner on my face. I have on nothing, no cream. So I'm gonna be using Kiehl's Ultra Facial Cream. I'm just gonna put a little bit. After that, CC cream from Vanilla Co. It has a bit of SPF, which is good because even though you're at home, there's always gonna be sunlight around the house. I'm just gonna put this around my face a little. You don't have to use your hands. You can also use a brush, but I'm kind of lazy. Next, I'm gonna be using Juvia's Place I Am Magic Concealer. I actually learned about this from Pony Makeup. I've been watching her makeup videos and she used this. It looked super amazing on her. I just wanted to try it out because I have been looking to buy new makeup products. I'm just putting some dots around my face because I don't wanna to put too much. I know it's like a glam look, but I don't wanna kick up my face too much. So I'm just gonna blend this in with this brush. I have to say, I have been using pretty poor brushes. This brush is from Forever 21. It's not the best, but it does its job. And the coverage is so good. Juvia's Place has all shades. So even if you have light skin, dark skin, it offers a variety of shades to match your skin. And that's what I liked about them. The formula is so amazing. That's why I got it because I was looking for something that could cover up my acne spots. And next up, Juvia's Place Foundation. It comes with a little bottle, kind of like body lotion or hand lotion. And it's like this. I have to peel the seal. It has a little seal. I'm just gonna put this lid back on. And it's a squeezy bottle, so you can squeeze it out. I'm just gonna squeeze some out on the back of my hands. About this much. Might be a little bit too much. It smells amazing. The formula is really, really creamy. So you don't have to worry about having dried skin. The color matches pretty well. I know it's a bit lighter than my actual skin, but I'm going to be putting on bronzer after this. Alrighty, Smashbox, the Cali Contour Palette. I'm just going to dab this shade, contour a little bit around the bony areas. I'll be using the darker brownish shade around my temple areas. I'm going to go with this yellowish tone, dab a little bit of that around my cheek area to lighten things up a little bit because I have dark spots around these areas. My hair straightener is ready. I used to have shorter hair, which made me realize that having hair at this length means that it will fly out. It's looking good. I think I'm just gonna take this brow pencil. Just gonna fill it in a little, make it more straight because I have bushy brows that go all the way up. My brow pencil right now is brown colored, which is too dark compared to my hair over here. But I don't know, I think I'm just gonna deal with it for now because my black hair is going out. I'm gonna be putting brow tint. So this brow tint I've been using for a long time now. Adding a Kosas palette for a little bit of highlight and blush. This is really good because it's creamy. My skin has been so dry. Every time the seasons change, my skin gets so dry. I'm just gonna be using my fingers. I'm gonna be using the lighter shade of the Tropic Equinox. I'm just gonna rub it in my cheekbone area. I will be using the darker shade and just contouring my nose a little bit. I think I just noticed this recently, but I have a pretty straight nose. Many people want their nose to be straighter, but honestly, I feel like my nose is pretty straight already. Like, I would personally never get rhinoplasty. I don't think I would need it. So yeah, I'm just making this nose area a little bit more defined. The sun is so glamorous right now. It's golden hour. I cannot believe how pretty my room looks. I'm gonna go back to my Cali Contour Palette, get the lightest shade, use my finger, 
cupid's bow area and a little more above my brows because it highlights it a little bit without having too much glitter because this palette doesn't have oh the middle ones do have glitter next up i'm gonna be doing my eyes i have can make tokyo's eyeliner pencil i'm not gonna talk because i cannot really do eyeliner as i'm talking not the most even thing but it's okay-ish i will be putting on fake lashes this is the carity one you can get at cvs beauty i just realized i don't have lash glue here <laughs> let me get that using lash glue with this it's reusable 3d fox mint lashes in sim i actually used these once before I got these at a pop-up event by cvs beauty at that event i got a bunch of goodies that's when i realized that cbs has a lot of good beauty products i realized i cannot do eye makeup while talking i could do my brows while talking but for my eyeliner and lashes i have to pay so much attention to it because i have pretty small eyes and basically everything made for eye makeup is like for people with bigger eyes honestly I think Carity really fits my eye perfectly. I don't have to tweak it in any way. Next up, lips, 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 lips. I'll be using Baby Lips Doctor Rescue. I think this might be discontinued, but it really helps my dry lips. The color is very peachy. I'm not a big fan of that. Also, it's a medicated scent. It smells like the cough drop rub thing that you put on when you're sick. Next up, I'll be using the Kylie Matte Liquid Lipstick from Kylie Cosmetics. These two combinations make my lips very matte-like, so I'm just gonna go in with a little liner, the NARS liner. I think it's Belle Marie, the Velvet Lip Liner. It's twisty, and it's a bit darker than the shades. I'm just gonna go in with it. Honestly, my lips look a bit funky right now. I think I'm not used to this really glam look and my lips look a lot bigger. I feel like it has a bit of color now. And to top off the lips with the prescriptive tint balm, I'm just going to use my finger and put this balm around it. Next up, eyeshadow with a bunch of blues. I'm not going to go too hard with the eyeshadow. I'm just going to be taking this little brush using the white eyeshadow around the inner corners of my eyes. I don't even know if it's making a difference, but I have the white in the inner corner. I have to say, my makeup skills have improved. I used to be such a wreck. I think I'm just gonna use... Should I go for the blue? It might end up pretty bad. I think I'm gonna go with the sapphire blue. I'm pretty sure this is like a lip brush, but I'm gonna be using the darker blue above the eyeliner. Okay, I don't know if you can tell, but my eyes look a little bit bigger compared to this one after I made that line. I'm liking this. It makes your eyeliner more even when you do this. Blends out the eyeliner. I think I'm gonna stop there. I might add a bit of the white to my brow border to give it a little pop right under the brows. This is my finished look. This is the final look and I just thought I would just put on a little shirt. It's just like a dress shirt from Forever 21. But yeah, it's blue which kind of matches my eyeshadow. I don't know if you guys can see it because I have monolids but there is blue. It's so hard to put on eyeshadow for monolids without having and looking like you gave yourself a black eye which happens to me every time. So I'm pretty proud of this look. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and I will see you all in the next one. Bye!